And yet, since that date, more Jewish people have been coming back to Jesus as the Messiah than any other time since the book of Acts. So all these things, Jeremiah speaks of the last days, speaks of it as a time when Israel is wounded, the Jewish people are wounded. Well, never have the Jewish people been wounded as they were in the Holocaust. And if you read that, it's an amazing thing because it talks about a day of great darkness and, and they're crushed. And, and yet in that day, God starts bringing them back. And it's like out of the ashes of the Holocaust, God brings back Israel. Israel comes back. And according to the, to the prophecies, Israel has to be back in the world. The Jewish people have to be back in the land, rebuilding the cities, replanting the fields. Well, that has happened. That's a key event. I was with Dr. Dobson, and he told me a story that when he was, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get the, the age right, but he was a kid. He was like eight years old or five years old, whatever, whatever it was. And one day his mother just took him aside and says, son, says, you have, remember this day. Remember this day. And she says, because this day Israel has come back into the world. God promised it. God is real. God has done it. And he never forgot that. In that day, God said, we have witnessed it. Most of us here have not. There are some here who are living who have probably were old enough to witness it. Most of us are not. But it happened in our generation. We've actually seen God's hand. God said it. Not only did he, not only did he preserve Israel against all odds, but to have them then come back. When has the nation been totally scattered to the ends of the earth? Totally. And then, and then out of nothing, all of a sudden, the nation is born again, born in a day. When? Never. Only because but God said it, he did it. God is real. And that has not stopped. When Israel came back in the, into the world, it had a few hundred thousand people. But then God started the gathering from all over, from the Arab lands, from around the ends of the earth. And some of us can remember the 1980s, a great, great, gigantic return from Russia. Russia opened up, and the Jewish people came back. I mean, masses and masses of them. So I remember when Beth Israel, when I was preaching, they, the Falasha Jews of Ethiopia were gathered back on an airplane lift back to Israel. Another Operation Moses, Operation Solomon. This has not stopped. Israel now, just, in the, just around this time, Israel has surpassed America for having the most Jewish people in the world. In fact, soon it may be that there are more Jewish people are in Israel than, any other, than anywhere. I mean, right now, that's the center. That means there's a shift coming in history. But so here they are, we have watched them do it. The Lord, they shall return, they shall come back. The Bible said it. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of, of, of church people who didn't believe it. They said, it's never going to be, it's all spiritual. When the Bible speaks about Israel coming back and Israel being blessed, that's not about Israel, that's about the church. When the Bible speaks about cursing them, that's about the Jewish people. That, that's called replacement theology. We replaced Israel. But there, if you look at some, I have some commentaries from the 19th century, and you read the commentaries, and I love them being, because these are people who believe God's word. And, I, and at one point, they're, they're, ta- they're reading the prophecies about, they're talking about the prophecies about Israel coming back, and they're saying, yes, we know it's impossible. We know, because back then, there was nothing. Israel was a desert land and had been, had been nothing for two, almost 2,000 years. Nothing was happening. Muslim land. And they were saying, when they were looking, they're saying, you know, I know we know it's impossible, but God said they're coming back, so they're coming back. And they did. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.